Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, can I navigate back and forth in a browser using Selenium web driver? The answer is yes. In Selenium, we have these two commands known as navigate.back and navigate.forward using which we can navigate back and forth in a browser using Selenium, okay? So let me practically demonstrate these commands for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where some sample Selenium automation code is already written for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the browser window. Here, I'll open the application URL. So which application? I'll take this application. What I would like to do here is uh, I would like to go to this application. After that, I would like to click on this link. Once I click on this link, you see browser back button is enabled. I would like to browse back. After that, here forward button is enabled. I would like to forward. Okay. So like that, I can navigate back and forward. Okay. This scenario I would like to automate. First, I'll copy this URL and uh, paste it here. After going to this application, I would like to click on this link so that I will be taken to another page. From that page, I will navigate back. And from that page, again, I will navigate forward. Okay. That's the plan. Inspect this compendium dev. And uh, it's a link text mostly. It's a link text. Copy this link text and write down here driver.find element by dot link text. Here's the link text locator and say dot click. Once I click on this, you'll be taken to another page. And from this page, I would like to navigate back. Okay. This browser back button I want to click. In Selenium, we have this command known as driver dot navigate dot back. Driver dot navigate dot back. This command will Simulate clicking on this browser back button like this. Okay. Now I would like to click forward, browser forward. Okay. For that, there's another command known as driver dot navigate dot forward. Okay. So this script will run a bit fast. So what I will do here is uh, here I'll just give some time. Okay. Thread dot sleep. Let's say three seconds. And uh, hold the mouse, ignore the exception. Copy the same thing and uh, after back, after forward, I'll give three seconds. After that, uh, that's it, fine. Okay, now save this, run the script. Okay, just to demonstrate the script, I've added this time statements, otherwise it's not required. Okay, so fine. Uh, now run this. You can see that how the browser back button and how the forward button, uh, forward commands are working. Okay, navigate back and navigate forward commands are working. Navigate dot back will navigate the browser back. Okay, backward, whereas navigate dot forward will forward the browser. Okay. So we, are, we went to another page. Now, after uh, three seconds, it will navigate backward. Okay. It's kind of very fast, I guess. Uh, it's still running, no, right? Okay, the red dot sleep is not working somehow in the scripts. Let me run it again. Okay, sorry, uh, I just made a mistake. Okay, I just gave three here. I have to give, you know, 3000 milliseconds, okay? So oh, it's milliseconds, right? I have to give 3000. Okay. Now it will work. 3000 milliseconds is nothing but equal to three seconds. Now it will work. We landed on this page. Now it will click on that link. After three seconds, it will navigate back. You see, it navigated back. After three seconds, navigate forward. Done. Okay. So hope guys, you understood how to navigate back and forth in a browser using Selenium web driver with the help of these commands known as navigate.back and navigate.forward commands. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.